Hey guys, it's up from the start, and I'm back with another video. In this one, we're going to be making the three machines over here and connecting them. And so now I'll be able to make all of the lava I need and be able to make all the sand and gravel I need. And for these, I'm going to need some tin. And last episode, we got all the tin we need. I'm just going to put that into the smeltery and wait for that all to smelt. And so for all of the gears I need, I have some gold here to turn into a gold plate. And I also will need a, an iron gear to cast into, since I don't want to actually make them this way. This requires four ingots and an iron nugget. This one just requires four ingots, and I can do it in bulk. Uh, so I'm going to make a cast out of one of these. So I have the uh, 12 tin I'm going to need for all the three gears. And I will also need copper, iron, and invar gear. And this invar I need to make with iron and nickel. So I'm going to do that after I make all of the other gears. So I have all the gears that I need, including the uh, invar gears. So first I'm going to make this sterling dynamo. Once I have this, place this. Oh, I placed wrong, I think. I'll have this, and then I think I'll feed this end into my... I'm going to make the magma crucible first. So once I make this, I'll get back. So I've been noticing from the changes from 1.12 to 1.16 in Tinker's Construct. You used to be able to do things like put cobblestone in and get seared stone out. But that's not a thing anymore. And even I can't even use it to turn netherrack into nether brick. So they've really nerfed what you can do in Tinker's Construct. Now I have all the things I need to make the magma crucible. I'll make this machine frame here. Then I believe I should have all the items I need. I have the magma crucible. And if I'm, hopefully I should be able to place it here. Currently does not have power. But if I add one of these here, it won't store the power here, but it'll start, yep, it'll start storing power here. Now if I put one of these in here, it should, over time, um, hmm. so it doesn't look like it's giving it enough power. I hope this is still doing something though. Now looking at the recipes for this, each piece of coal coke gives uh, 40,000. However, the one I need here with the cobblestone actually requires 200,000. So I'm going to actually need, either need to store this up after, no, I'm going to need like five of these in order to do anything. So now I'll need whatever cable you use to connect these. I've been looking a lot at this mod and I don't think it actually has anything in the mod itself that allows you to uh, connect that allows you to have like wires so I could put this here have a wire and connect to here I don't think it's part of the mod so I'm going to have to add something for next episode for now uh, I won't actually be using any of this so the other thing I'd like to do is actually get started on the uh, later game progression. So like going to the end and for that I'm going to need to go to the nether and uh, find a nether fortress. And so I remember that these soul beads work kind of like eyes of ender and I believe the last time I did it it told me that the nearest fortress was 
about that way. So I will start heading that way. So I have found the fortress. It's... Oh, I don't have a shield. I might not be in a very good position for this. But I'll see how far I can go here. Okay. And I'm going. There's a blaze. And I can actually kill the blaze. It's things burned. Oh, the spawner is up there. However, I also know there. Wait, that's a uh, that's another spawner. I think I'm just going to use that one. It's going to be a lot easier to use. So it takes three. So I can just camp here. And I'm going to just continually blow them up and come back when I'm done. So I have all the rods I think I'm going to need. So now I'm going to head back to my base. So while I could go back into the overworld to get the ender pearls I need, I figured I'd actually continue in here and see if I could find a dang it. See if I could find a warp forest in which I could more easily get those ender pearls. So I'm going to be searching for that. Oh, I saw this biome before. I really didn't like it. Yes, the flesh biome. Do these flesh blocks do anything? Otherwise, they're just, like, the creepiest thing. Nope. They're completely decorative. Uh, why would you add these? Okay, on the edge there, I can see a warped forest, so I should soon be able to get the ender pearls that I need. So I've gotten the ender pearls that I need. I've also marked the fortress and the warp forest on the map so now i'm going to go through and i know there's two of them on the other side so oh and so there's one of them oh there's actually three of them oh that was thing and now I'm going to make a brewing stand and make my eyes fender. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to enter the end in this episode, but the stronghold is... That was a weird bit of lag. Ah, uh, dang. The stronghold is this way. Ah, okay. Finally turned backwards. And it's back here, so it's right around here. Oh, I found it. It's right down here. And here we go. Starter staircase should be... Yeah, I think it's just over there. So now I just need to find the room. Okay, found the library first. So, let's see what the really good books are. We have Fire Aspect, Lure and Breaking, Infinity Quick Charge. None of those are really good. I think there's another one of these as well. I didn't know there could be two of these. Oh no, that's a book I like. Efficiency 4, Sharpness 3, and Unbreaking. Eh, I like this one. 
Uh, here's another good one. Production 3 and Breaking 3. So, I don't need Cave Root. Uh, I can actually just see it on the map. So I know it's just around the corner here, I believe. Yep. So let's... Like this. And we've got... Two, so I... Oh yeah, we have enough pearls. So... So... We have it. And... Organize, and let's see how the end looks. Okay, let's see for now. I and so, I want to see if this works. It does. However, it is. does so little damage that I don't think it's actually worth doing. What is it doing up there? Okay, I think it's gone. So now I can actually start... Okay. It's something, but it's... Very good. It is a decent way to farm these, uh, whatever the scales here. I'm not quite sure what they do, but I have, like, multiple stacks of them now. And, oh, my explosions are what cause it to go all the way up there. Well,. Uh, I'm going to farm Enderman, I guess, until it gets back down. Might as well get some ore while I'm here. Oh, this is interesting. There's actually one of these, uh, ritual... Oh, this is the one that... What are you doing over here? Yeah, these are things that allow you to teleport back, I think. But there's one all the way out here. All the way in here. I think I've used a mod similar to this. If I'm not wrong, I think this is the ore that... When you mine it, there's a fluid that comes out. Let's see if I... But the fluid that comes out... Goes up. Nope, wasn't that mod. And there we go. The end portal is done. There's one of the uh, shader grab bag. I am not familiar what that does. And given the state of my PC right now, I don't think I want to find out. Before we go back in there, I'm actually going to make sure I've mined all the... Um, What's it called? Thalassium there is on the surface in the end, and then I'm going to head back through. Hmm. While trying to get the dragon egg, which now I have. Found some of this biotite, which I believe is it's either coal and or biotite. I'm not familiar with what this is. Let's see. Redstone randomizer. Weather detector. Huh. So it's like a nether version of redstone. So I was going to get more thalassium, but if you see here, the armor is actually worse than iron. Given the amount of iron I have, I don't need it. But I believe. What would it be? Ender ore? I'll have to look at these last two. And it doesn't actually look like any of the other two end ores I found actually 
do anything either, so I'm going to head back through. So I've just gotten out, and I'm heading home. Once I get home, I will see what we can do with some of the stuff we have. Now I've returned home, and looking at this book, this one's really good. So I want to put it on a new diamond chest plate. So I have that. Get the iron for the anvil. And we should have enough levels for it. So we put that down. And yep, section three, unbreaking three chest plate. Looking good. Although I have no clue what this epic shader grab bag could be. So we got nether forged. Now what do I can be applied to hold shift? Ah, so it's like a skin for things? Okay, that's pretty cool. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next episode.